Good morning, dear students. In our previous class, we have studied the half part of the lesson, the lake that flew away, and you have learned that how the brigands stained the lake in and uh, destroyed the water of that lake. So. Lake Im decided to leave the place and go to another place. Now let's see what happens next. A bandit thrust his arm into one of the chest, then drew it out with a shriek. Now when the lake came away, the robber chief told the bandits to. left behind. So they saw the treasure chests. So one of the bandits, he thrust his arm into the chest. Thrust means suddenly put his hand inside, he pushed his hand suddenly inside the chest and took it out with a shriek. Shriek means a loud piercing sound. So suddenly when he put his hand in the chest, immediately he removed his hand, his arm from the chest with a loud shout. Now why did he shout? The chest was full of frogs, another was full of water snakes, another lizards. As you know, there were three chests and one chest was full of frogs. There were frogs in one chest. In the second chest there were water snakes. And in the third chest there were lizards. So all these chests were filled with different kinds of reptiles. Actually what they wanted? They wanted the treasure. They wanted, uh, they have heard about the treasure and so they came there. But when they opened the chest, there were reptiles in all the three chests. Not a fish, not a single bearded barbel or dappled trout lay stranded by the lake's departure. Now there was not a single fish, not a single bearded barbel or dappled trout. Dappled means having some uh, kind of spots on its body and trout is a uh, one kind of freshwater fish. So there was not a single fish left there. Lay stranded by the lake's departure. Stranded, helpless. Means not a single fish lay helpless at the departure of the lake. Why? Because the lake carried away all the fish along with it. But every lizard, reptile, new, salamander, frog and slug that had ever lived in the mud of the lake was crawling towards the shore. But the animals which lived in the mud of that lake, all those animals they crawled towards the shore. The brigands shrank back in revulsion only to see the nasty livestock of lake crawl past into their dens, into their beds, into their boots and bags and hats. The brigands shrank back. Shrank means move back with fear. When they saw these reptiles, these animals, they were afraid and they moved back. In revulsion. A revulsion means disgust. So in disgust, these bandits, they moved back. And what did they see? They could see nasty means unpleasant. They could see the unpleasant livestock of the lake crawling into their dens, into their beds, into their 
hats, boots, bags, etc. So all these insects started crawling when the lake came away. They burned everything, their lives and all they had stolen. They raised the forest to its stumps and then trudged away their wicked lives in ashes, leaving an empty crater encircled by fire. So they burned everything. Their layers, layers means a hidden place where they used to hide. So they burned that place. Then they also burned whatever they had stolen. They raised the forest to its stumps. They raised, raised means destroyed. They completely destroyed the forest to its stump. Stump means when you cut the trees, only uh, the bottom part of a tree is left projecting from the ground. That is called a stump. So they cut down or they destroyed the forest. Only stumps could be seen in the forest. Then trudged away their wicked lives in ashes. Trudged away means walk slowly with heavy steps. They were very sad. They did not get any kind of treasure. So they walked away with heavy steps and leaving an empty crater encircled by fire. So they left an empty crater. Crater means hollow or empty basin which was encircled by fire, which was surrounded by fire. Meanwhile, Lake Kim carried its careful burden of fish and treasure to the sky. Now when the bandits were searching for the treasure, Lake Kim, it flew away, it carried along with it its treasure and fish to the sky. It flew so high that people below looked up and said, what cloud is that hiding the sun? So this lake flew very high in the sky. So people from the ground, they watched up in the sky and they said, what cloud is hiding the sun? That lake was very big and because of that, the sun was hid behind. So the people said, what cloud is hiding that sun? Hunters looked up and said, what flock of birds is that blacking out the sun? The hunters, when they looked, they said that, what kind of flock of birds is blacking the sun? Means it is uh, stopping the sunlight to pass on the ground. See, when a cloud comes in front of the sun, So there is a bit of darkness, you must have observed uh, in rainy season, right? Due to clouds, uh, the sun light is not bright. Similarly, the lake covered the sun and so the hunters said that it is a flock of birds who is covering the sun, not allowing the light to pass on the ground. Then the lake came to a land parched and cracked brown and destitute for want of water. Now, flying in the sky, the lake came to a place which was parched and cracked. Parched means a very dry place like a desert where there is no rainfall. So the land is dry. So a lake came to the place which was very dry. The ground has cracks on it and brown and destitute for want of water. So that land was destitute for want of water. There was no means of water supply in that area. So they, uh, this land desperately needed water. The poor peasants then held out their hands, hoping the cloud might spare them a few drops of meager rain. So 
So now peasants. Peasants means farmers. They held out their hands and they hoped that these, this cloud would give them meager rain. Meager means uh, inadequate. Some rain, little rain. Because they were badly in need of water for growing the crops. So they hoped that the cloud will give at least some amount of rain to them. Then suddenly out of the sky it swooped a sluicing wealth of water which seemed to glitter with jewels. So then suddenly what happened? Out of the sky it swooped. Swooped means came down. From the sky some drops of water which looked like glittering jewels came down on the ground. Make me a bed to lie in and I shall stay with you, offered Lake In in a voice like a thundering waterfall. So Lake In said to the peasants, to the farmers that you make a bed for me so that I can lie here and I will stay here with you forever. So when the lake in uh, spoke to the farmers, the voice was like a thundering waterfall. The peasants snatched up their hoes and spades. The children dug with their hands. The women wheeled away the dry earth in barrows. So when the lake said that make bed for me, immediately the farmers, they snatched up their holes, they grabbed their holes and spades. These are the instruments which are used for digging the ground and they started digging the ground. Small children started digging with their hands. Then uh, women, they started digging with a two-wheel hand cart. Barrows means a two-wheel hand cart. Within a week, they made a bed for the lake and in settled into it with a sound like a weary groan. Now within one week, these people took one week to make bed for the river. So the bed was ready within one week and then Lake Kim settled there with a very groan. Very means tired. Groan means a uh, sound. So uh, it sound very tired. Lake Kim sound very tired. Fish danced on their tails on the surface while each circular ripple that spread from the center to the shore washed up a trinket of gold for a few silver coins. Several little boats bobbed about too and the choppy waves. So when the lake settled, at that time the fish came on the surface of the water and started dancing. While each circular ripple that spread from the center to the shore washed up a trinket of gold. So each circular ripple. Ripple means a small wave of water. See whenever you throw something, uh, suppose a stone or anything in the water, small waves are seen in the water. These waves are called ripples. So each circular ripple that spread from the center to the shore washed up a trinket of gold or a few silver coins. So each ripple it brought with it a small ornament of gold on the surface. Or sometimes it also brought some silver coins. Several little boats bobbed about too on the choppy waves. So also some boats could be seen on the choppy. Choppy means small waves of this lake in. 
First, the peasants thanked God with prayers in the church. Then they thanked the lake with flowers that they floated on its face. So now the peasants, the farmers were very happy. So they thanked God for the lake. They got the lake water and so they th thanked God. Then they also thanked the lake. Now how did they thank the lake? By floating the flowers on its face. The farmers floated some flowers on the face of the lake and thanked the lake. As people thank God by offering flowers, isn't it? So similarly, they also offered some flowers to the lake and thanked the lake for settling down in that place. They planted willow trees and dug cattle troughs, made osier beds in shallows and built jetties from the shore. Now they also planted willow trees. Willow, it is one kind of tree which is grown near the water. So they planted willow trees and dug cattle troughs. They also dug cattle troughs. Troughs are channel to convey the liquid. So they also dug the cattle troughs. Then they made osier beds in the shallows. So they also made osier beds. Osier means any of various willows whose supple twigs are used for furniture and basketry. So they planted uh, any of the willow, uh, like willow trees, who, which wood can be used for making furniture or baskets. And built jetties from the shore. These farmers also built jetties. Jetties. Uh, it is a space where boats can stop. Like we have a bus stand for the bus. Similarly, there are jetties for the boats. They channeled water to their fields and the fields flourished. So now they made a channel to this river to their fields. They took the water of lake for growing crops and because of this water their fields flourished. All the fish fry they returned so that the fish stocks thrived. Now all the fish fry, here fish fry means baby fish. So they returned all the baby fish back to the lake so that they can grow and another uh, fish can be reproduced. In short, they cared for the lake and the lake cared for them. So in this way, they took care of the lake. And the lake took care of the people, the farmers in that village. Which is at, as it should be if you don't want your bed full of newts. So here, also wants to say that if we take care of nature, nature will take care of it. You have observed that how the brigands destroyed the lake. On the other hand, the peasants, they took care of lake. And in return, the lake gave them fish, gave water to their fields, so the field flourished and all were happy. I hope you have understood the lesson. Thank you.